Yes, how much I do love life. This one here is just torture. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, world. Good morning, coffee. Look at this nice breakfast. Banana breakfast. I got some dry granola. <laughs> I will add now a few oats and then that should be very tasty. I know for a lot of people it's maybe weird, but I don't cook the oats. I just put uh, cold water on it. It just saves some time. <laughs> bon appetit! Good morning world! Welcome back to the channel. It's day number 188 on our round the world trip. <laughs> it's getting into some big numbers already. <laughs> yes. uh, we are here uh, just outside of Saquarema, which is about 80 miles up the coast from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. And we're staying here in the beautiful campsite of a wonderful guy named Everest. Uh, he's, oh, he's just over there. <laughs> he's just behind the bush. <laughs> Wait. Thank you very much. Oh. We have already packed up this morning, had our coffees, had breakfast. So let me show you guys where we're heading today. Okay, we are just about here in Sacarema, just outside of Rio de Janeiro. And today we are gonna be continuing our way along the coast to Cabo Frio and after up to Bujos. So just a short day up the coast today. Everyone recommended that we see this little stretch of coastline, Arayo do Cabo and Bujos. So we're gonna kind of poodle along the coast, check out the beaches and end up today in Buzios. We are really good in time today. It's just eight o'clock, but it gets hotter and hotter every hour. So better hit the road, let's go. <laughs> Thank you. See you. <laughs> we see you. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Yes, it's nice to be on the bike. Yeah, I was getting already super hot and sweaty <laughs> just just during the setup. Yes. We've just left the area Saquarema and we are on our way slightly inland at the moment, but then we are going to take a right in a f about four miles and make our way back over to the coast and then it will just be coast riding all the way to Arayal do Cabo which is our first stop of the day but it was really nice to uh, have a bit of time to chill yesterday we uh, we stayed two nights at Everest's uh, campsite we had a really nice day yesterday we could explore the area a little bit Everest uh, gave us his um, bicycles which was really cool so we checked out the beach the beach is absolutely beautiful crazy surf competitions in a year there so yeah that's really cool we're riding on just a very narrow strip of land between the ocean on the right and the massive lagoon on the left and there's just this little strip in between nice look at that and it's nice to have a little bit of wind coming as well now a little bit more open road because it is not as hot as it was in Senegal, but it's it's still pretty hot here. It's uh, nearly 30 degrees. It's just glaring sun down from one sweaty continent to another sweaty continent. <laughs> Yes, 
looks like we are about to arrive at our first destination for the day Arayal do Cabo Whee! look at this they've got like this really nice big entrance coming in and you've got some hills coming up around and you've got a sign that says Bemvindo welcome <laughs> thank you <laughs> Look at that blue water. We're on holiday. Yes. Oh, <laughs> look at the beach. Nice. nice. Whoa, we are just coming in towards the center of Oral de Cabo. And it is a busy, busy place. Yeah, I guess it's uh, the weekend and everyone had the same idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's the issue with nice areas, nice beaches that are close to uh, big cities, is that, yeah, it's going to be packed full of people. So, the plan for us is we're going to ride a little bit closer and then we're going to find ourselves a parking place where we can take our gear off, get our shorts on. <laughs> oh, she just followed us on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> nice. There you go. We're getting subscribers along the way. At the moment, it's 30 degrees. Nice and sweaty. Mm. <laughs> it's okay, we'll be jumping in the beautiful cool waters in no time. No. Should we pack here? Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, we finally found ourselves a parking. I'm sweating, so let's get our gear off. Parking successful. Bumblebee is all wrapped up. We've put uh, our gear inside the little hut at the front of the parking. And uh, we've got everything locked in the box and we've got the cover on. We would take the parasol with us, we decided. <laughs> <laughs> we've got to make use of it. <laughs> so yeah, we're gonna now have a walk into uh, Arao do Cabo, into the town, have a little look around, go to the beach and just have a few hours of relaxation. Mini holiday! Look at this! Can we exchange Bumblebee? <laughs> look at that! Sweet. So we found a little trail that heads over to a beach on the other side of the hill and that's a bit more of a nice natural beach. So we're going to walk up and over the hill, go and check it out. It's a hot day for a hike, that's for sure. Oh my god. Luckily, the beach is just down here. This is where we're going. Down there to the beach. Look at this. Ready for a swim, hey? Oh, yes. Vamos a la playa. <laughs> and I really love these big cactuses everywhere. <laughs> They're absolutely huge. Yeah. That water looks crystal clear, hey, it looks really nice. So beautiful. The parasol was a failure. <laughs> it's not working at all. <laughs> These must be some really, really super strong parasols over here because our one is just Little Oli is enjoying the water. 
<laughs> we managed to get the umbrella working. Yes. Feels like paradise here. The water is so nice. I think it's the nicest water I have ever been inside. Wow. Whee! <laughs> a little piece of paradise here. That is such a nice location here. I mean, okay, there's a lot of people, it's pretty crowded, but the water is so nice, oh my god. And the surrounding here, with all these like hills around, and these cactuses everywhere. But we're gonna head back over to the main town now, and uh, see if we can grab a bite to eat. I'm gonna go to the Padaria for lunch. See what we can find. Maybe some brioche? <laughs> this brioche is really cheap. It's about 50, 50 pence for a pack. So uh, that's a good start for lunch. <laughs> it smells really nice uh, like coconut as well. So. Mm -hmm. Dois. Should we get a couple of those? It's just two for a cookie. Ooh. Yummy? Yummy? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the, the the brioche, the fruit stuff, and uh, dos. Cavacas. 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 It looks like a successful lunch. <laughs> <laughs> That's sweet. Cookies! I think this is the sweetest lunch in history. You can't get sweeter than that. We're also gonna have a look on booking.com and see where we can find a room in another town a little bit further down the coast called Bujos. So we're gonna check that out. So that lunch cost us uh, only about £1.40 because it was pretty much just stuff from the bakery. So that's a pretty cheap option. So if you do visit here, uh, just know you can always visit the padaria for uh, a cheap way to fill your belly with a lot of sugar. <laughs> so we're just going to head back to the Estacionamente, the parking where Bumblebee is hopefully safe and secure. And uh, then we'll hit the road to our final destination for the day, Bujos. Wow, you know, I was so nice and cool swimming in the ocean just less than an hour ago and now I'm back to boiling hot. Woo, Jesus. Yes, how much I do love life. This one here is just torture. <laughs> Time to get on the road, hey? Yeah, let's get some wind. <laughs> Obrigado! Thank you! Obrigado! <laughs> nice! It's time to get out of town. But actually it's not that far left to go today. We've, uh, we've got 21 miles to get to uh, Bujos and we looked on booking.com and uh, we have found a room for with parking, free parking apparently. Uh, for 15 pounds which is kind of the limit that we're trying to spend on accommodation per day because that's basically half of our daily budget but it was a pretty nice visit to Arayal do Cabo I thought the place was overcrowded yes but still beautiful yeah I mean it's overcrowded for a reason the, the water here is so so nice and you can normally take a boat tour which is uh, about four hours mm -hmm. and it goes from bay to bay so actually a really really cool <laughs> thing to do so hopefully less than an hour over to Bujos yes and we do have to adjust our time a little bit because it gets really um, early dark here in Brazil mm. at six o'clock it's pretty much over for us 
because uh, there's one rule we have to follow never ride in the dark we should be also aiming to try to get up at six o'clock if we can <laughs> we've been trying to push towards that this morning we probably got out of the tent Mm, somewhere between half six and seven uh, yeah I think at 6.45 <laughs> so we're working towards it we're working towards it Okay, we're getting close to the hotel that we found on booking.com and uh, you know they told us in Rio oh it's so charming when you get over to Bujos in this area because you know they have the stone streets like how charming and I'm like we're like sitting on the bike <laughs> it's really charming <laughs> really charming roads you know we get a good take that's right, that's right, you can feel the history coming up through the tyres. There's a bit of history, look at that. Oh yes, but to be fair, it does look quite charming. I mean, look at it here. This neighbourhood looks really, really nice. The beach is literally, again, you can't see it at all, but it's literally on the other side of those buildings. If you look on my map in front, you can see very nice beach and you can also see one street back our hotel so we should be only a five minute walk from the beach all right so this is the street okay. so it should be apparently number 17 on this street 17 oh, 17 here okay here hey found it there we go. Levy's just ringing the doorbell. Did it make it? Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Okay. Obrigado, thank you. Nice. Ah, uh, this makes all the sweating of the day worthwhile. Have a look at the view from this beautiful little homestay hotel here in Bujos. So this is one of the lagoons behind us, one of the many lagoons of this area. It's so beautiful because the property is just backed up here and you can just see nature in front. It's really, really nice. And the sunset is setting over the lagoon. Yeah. So this is the hotel behind me. It's got a little pool area. We've got our room in down there. There's uh, on-site parking for Bumblebee. <laughs> what more could you ask for, hey? What more could you ask for? It's always nice when Bumblebee has a place to stay just <laughs> right next to us so we can keep an eye on it. <laughs> yes, but now that we have Sizap, 
yes. we can actually see and get a notification if somebody decides to try to <laughs> bumblebee in the night, which is super cool. <laughs> It was a pretty short day today. We just rode 60 miles or 97 kilometers, but it was a really nice day. The beaches we checked out were really, really picturesque. So beautiful, so beautiful. Packed full of people, yeah. but beautiful. Yeah, super, super beautiful. And the water was this crystal clear blue turquoise water. It mm. It was just amazing. So that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friend and family. Comment below. We will see you next time.